What's going on, Champagne Gang, Fizz Fam, Confidants? Welcome to Fizz Feed Conversations, where we give our opinions on their stories. So, today's story is a follow-up on a story we briefly covered regarding this young lady who has been seen on the network Now That's TV. This young lady's name is Cassandra Holt, better known as Butter from the South Central Baddies Season 3. And she was arrested and charged with unaliving her husband in 2020. So now we have more details, and here's how this unfolds folded. So picture this, right? Investigators ran some DNA tests on a McDonald's cup and during a preliminary hearing on Tuesday, Milwaukee police detective Jake Pushnik spilled the tea. So it turns out the fingerprints and DNA on the cup matched both Santiago, her husband, and Cassandra Holt. Now, Holt's been on the police's radar since Santiago's unaliving. They found out these two had a pretty rocky relationship and had only been married for about a year and a half. Holt confessed that they had a huge fight the day before Santiago was found unalive. Here's what went down according to Holt. So she said she found some suspicious texts on his phone from other women, confronted him, and they had a blowout fight. Santiago kicked her out of his car and she ended up staying with her grandmother on Milwaukee's north side. Now, according to police, she didn't mention anything about a McDonald's stop. The police caught on that Holt's story was a bit sketchy and used cell phone data to place her near the scene where Santiago passed away on the day it happened. Holt eventually left Wisconsin and moved to Buckeye, Arizona. So she moved with another woman and her daughter, but it didn't last long. They had a huge argument and Holt got kicked out again. So according to that criminal complaint, Holt threatened the woman on FaceTime, even saying that she'd unalived her husband before. The woman and her daughter reported all of this to the police. The daughter also mentioned that Holt had confessed to her on a different occasion that she unalived her husband but wait that's not it there's more so a guy told the police that he met Holt during a trip to Las Vegas in 2022 he stated he had a fling with her and she moved in with him in Sacramento California he claimed Holt confessed multiple times that she'd unalived Santiago so with all of these witnesses saying Holt has openly talked about unaliving her husband Santiago and the DNA evidence from the McDonald's cup prosecutors got a warrant for her arrest on May the 6th so right now Holt is being held at the Milwaukee County Jail with a bond set at $500,000. She pleaded not guilty to the unaliving through her attorney and she just appeared in court on Monday the 13th. Her next court date is July the 10th. Now let me back up a bit and fill you in on how investigators cracked this cold case. So they used DNA that was found on a McDonald's cup linked to Holt which linked her to her husband's unaliving. So Cassandra Holt, who's 28, has been charged with first degree on aliving in the shooting death of her husband, Jose Santiago. So here's the timeline, right? So on March 23rd, 2020, Santiago was found unalived in his car with what looked like an execution style pow pow wound to the back of his head. This all went down near the St. Adalbert Cemetery, I think that's it. And the car sat there for about two days before a jogger noticed something was off. The jogger peeked inside and saw his unresponsive body. When the police investigated the scene, they found a spent bullet casing, a pair of McDonald cups, and a receipt from the fast food joint inside the car. So there you have it with Cassandra Holt. Secret spill. Hold time. Y'all on South Central baddies with a psychopath. And you didn't know your life was in danger. Because anyone who unalives someone and feels they got away with it will feel emboldened enough to do it again because it makes them feel untouchable. Because they'll feel like if they got away with it once, they can get away with it again. Do y'all even really know who y'all be tussling with on these shows? I mean, for real, y'all could be bucking up to Griselda Blanco and y'all wouldn't even know it because y'all think y'all so tough. And she did this because they had an argument about text messages. This is what happens when so-called love turns into obsession. Uh-huh. 
This is what happens when my partner turns into my possession. Girl, he told me he gonna choke the ish out of me. Girl, he said he gonna knock my head between the fridge and the wall. Girl, he told me if he can't have me, nobody can. He, 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 child, he, he, hell. Bruh, she slashed my tire. Bruh, she broke my car window. Bruh, the, bruh, the itch key my car. Man, I love her crazy ass, though. She just tripping. Yeah, I bet Santiago thought she was tripping, too, huh? For some reason, we seem to like crazy until crazy really shows up. And then everybody's shot. Now this young man is gone because she couldn't handle damn rejection. I usually ask, are we okay? But we're not. We're entitled. We're selfish. Self-absorbed. Spoiled. We're arrogant. Conceited. Egotistical. Supercilious. Pretentious. Narcissistic. And we're vainglorious. Just to name a few. Nah, no, we're not okay. As I stated before, I completely understand now why we're seeing more and more so-called confirmed UFO sightings, according to the military. Because they gotta be looking at us and thinking, there's no signs of intelligent life any damn where. They have to. Just no coping skills. So he's gone, but she's free to roam and get on TV and date other people. But he's gone. No matter how many years she gets, she's still here. She may have the opportunity to get out at some point. He can't get out. He should have gotten out because I'm sure there were signs of this. Anyone who will brag to others that they did it, first brag that they would do it, but no one believed them. And you take a person with anger issues who has unalived someone, and you put them on a show full of nothing but violence. This girl could have flipped out on someone in the house in a major way. And y'all would have been clueless. And I'm sure they don't do psyche vows for these shows. Nah, because no one thinks about that. No one thinks about what these shows could trigger in unstable individuals. No one knows if you are knowingly putting everyone in danger by who you allow on your show. Sleeping in the house with you, whole time you don't even know you're locked up with a black widow. Child, y'all better start keeping your head on the swivel and paying attention to what people say and how they behave. Words lie, actions don't. Drop in the comments and let me know what you think about this one. Champagne gang, Fizz fam, confidant. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Fizz Feed Conversations. Our opinions, their stories. Until next time, ta-ta. Fizz Feed Conversations.